Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. Well, it's finally here. Microsoft Teams embedded chat inside of Dynamics 365. And this is currently a preview feature that will allow you to kind of try it out and see how everything works. Now this video might come out at the time where you don't have this functionality available yet in your instance, but this is currently being rolled out to all environments. So you might have to just be patient for a little bit longer. Now, this is just the beginning of the Teams integration that Microsoft has been developing. And there's a bunch of other features that have to do with the Teams integration that are coming out later this year as part of 2021 Release Wave 2. In the meantime, take a look at the video and enjoy. You can enable the preview for the Microsoft Teams embedded chat directly from app settings. So you can see I'm currently in the sales hub and I'm going to change my area to the app settings area. And then I'm going to click here on chat and collaborate. And this is where you can turn on this preview, right? You can see there's two things that you can turn on. So first of all, the actual uh, preview of the Microsoft Teams chats inside of Dynamics 365. And then you can also see that you can turn on uh, whether or not you want to use the record title as a default chat name for any of those linked chats. So you can see that's what I've done here, I turned both of them on. So once you do that, let's now take a look, right, of what that looks like inside of Dynamics 365. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go here to an opportunity. Let me just go to this opportunity that we have here with Microsoft. And what you'll see here is this new icon here on the top and you can see if I kind of hover over that it tells me that this is the icon that I can use to access that integrated section that we see here that now pops up in this pane here inside of Dynamics 365. So you're going to see two different things. You're going to see here that I have my chat section, I almost want to say it's more of like a tab, right? So where I can access all of my other chats. And if I have any chats that are linked to this particular opportunity, I can access those as well. Now, if I have particular chats over here and I want to link them to this particular record in Dynamics 365, I can do that. So for example, uh, you can see that I can actually start a linked chat with Teresa. And if I go here to another one, oops, let me just redo that real quick. I can also link this chat to this opportunity as well. Or if I want to just start a new chat altogether, I can click here on new linked chat and then I can add a participant. So let me just add Chris to that and then I can start my chat. And you'll notice that that then pops out directly here on top of my Dynamics 365 record, right? Some other things that I can do here, you can see here because I had that section turned on where I wanted to name the chat the same as the actual record. So it says here, the chat name is Opportunity with Microsoft. Now I can change that obviously if I wanted to go ahead and do that. And what I can do here is I can also open up this conversation in Microsoft Teams and I can also add some participants to this conversation if I wanted to. And then of course you can start to chat with this person. 
Now, if I close this, you can still see, obviously, right? It stays here below chats linked to this particular record. Now, I also wanted to mention that I actually can have, I believe it's four chats open here at the same time. But if I now open another record, let's just see here. You can see that it would actually close that first record or first, I should say, chat that I opened. And then it just opens up that new chat directly within here. And then I can also collapse this, right? You can see that now it actually goes here. It sits here on the bottom, or I can just go ahead and close those conversations. Just like I can link any conversations to the record in Dynamics 365, I can also unlink chats from this particular record in Dynamics 365 as well. And then of course, if I want to go ahead and search, right? So I want to filter opportunity and kind of see that I can search for chats directly from within here as well. And then, of course, if I want to start a regular new chat that's not linked to this record, I can click on this new icon and that will just fall below my other chat section that you see over here. Now, we also have a channels tab and this is going to allow you to, as you can see, we, can, we already kind of have this functionality, right? We can actually link a channel to this opportunity and you can do this in different ways i can go here to microsoft teams and let's say you know i can have a team in here so let's actually i can create a new team in here and then i can let's go here to general and i can say right i'm going to search for that opportunity with microsoft let's see if i can find that There you go. And I want to save that. And so this is one way, right? But we can actually link this channel to this record in Dynamics 365. And you can see here now that that particular channel has been linked to this opportunity. Now I cannot unlink it, right? You can see that if I try to click on that, that will actually open up that channel in Microsoft Teams. However, if I go back here to my Teams and if I'm going to go ahead and remove that from this channel, you're going to see that that connection will then be removed. So you can see, right, that's how I kind of removed that link. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can just add it directly from within Dynamics 365. I'm going to say get started. And this is very similar, right, to the behavior that we had before with this collaborate button. So I'm going to say I'm going to do the same thing. I can either create a new team here. Or I could just pick a team. But let's just link it to that same channel, my general channel, or I can create a new channel from here as well. I'm going to hit next and then I can add members if this is a private channel. And it's going to want to open Microsoft Teams to that channel. And then you can see right that same tab that we did earlier from the team side. And I click on channels again, we can see that that channel has now been linked to this opportunity. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Have a great day, everyone.